Welcome to the Sister Secret Family Recipe Cooking Show. My name's Kathleen and this is Pam. And for as long as we can remember, we have gathered our family and food under one roof. And this is kind of our thing. It sure is. If you didn't know, we're sisters. I know you can't tell, but we are. And we also work together at Southridge. And this weekend, on this family weekend, we're gonna let you in on a few of our family secrets. Yeah, we have so many fond uh, family food memories. And we had a really hard time deciding what recipe we should share with you. Well, our goal was for you to be successful in making a meal together. So. We based our recipe choice on that. Yep. We're gonna make soup and biscuits. Pretty much anybody can do soup and biscuits. Now our husbands do not like this meal <laughs> that much, but we do, so we didn't really care. <laughs> <laughs> it is all about us yeah, after yeah, all. It's true, it's true. <laughs> so um, I don't know about you, but uh, Pam, you know, when, it, when we used to live in Karenport, I had a friend who, who actually dubbed me, she gave me a new name. She said I was the soup bearer. And the reason was because um, for some reason she noticed that I always showed up at a crisis with a pot mm. of soup. And um, it was really interesting because I realized after she told me that, that soup actually was a really important part of my ministry. Mm. Yeah. yeah, soup really is the ideal comfort food. I don't know if you remember being sick as a child. Yeah. Your mom always made you soup, or when someone's sick, you bring chicken noodle soup, whatever. But it is it is the ideal comfort food. It's a good choice. Yeah. And it's really healthy, too. Mm. Actually, one of the things I learned about soup was that all of the liquid in the soup um, is really good in a crisis when people are actually um, having a hard time because it hydrates them. Oh. And hydration is so important for good, good brain function and for recovery from illness. Um, and even when you're grieving and things like that, your body uses more liquid. Um, it needs more hydration. So soup is the perfect choice. And you know, soup, the thing I like about soup is that it evens the playing field. Mm. You know, yeah. it, it's not fancy, it doesn't cost a lot and anybody can do it. Hmm. That's really interesting. Do you remember growing up how mom always had a pot of soup on? Yeah. Every Sunday afternoon, she had a pot of soup ready to go and whoever was at church yeah. got invited over and we had soup together and the guests would help prepare the last minute part of it, but yeah. we, we just always had community that way and it was such a good memory. I, yeah. I loved it. Do you remember actually everybody laying on the carpet after, after lunch and going to sleep? Yeah. We went to church twice on Sunday, yeah. once in the morning and once at four o'clock clock and so people would come over for lunch and then we'd all lay down for a nap on the carpet before we had to be at church again at four o'clock. Yeah, oh, so, true. so funny. Yeah, that is so true. <laughs> One of the other things I really like about making soup is even if you're not doing it ahead of time to have guests over, it's something you can do last minute as a group. Mm -hmm. Everybody can participate from, from every age. You know, mm -hmm. little kids can wash vegetables, older kids can help chop stuff, um, even young children can help cook. And so it's a really, really great opportunity to involve everyone. That's the other reason why we chose that today for this family cooking class. So get your family together, Grab your ingredients and get ready to cook. So on the little cards that you got, there's a QR code for our family recipe. You are so lucky that we are letting you in on this secret family recipe. It is hard to read. <laughs> there's a lot of spills on it. It's old. You might need your glasses. We're kind of doing this, but see if you can do yeah. it. Mom kind of made a mess of it too, because she's put her own notes on there. So we might have to stop once in a while to try and figure out what she's actually saying on yeah. here. Okay, are we ready to go? We are. All right. Yeah. Okay. So we've got a lot of vegetables here, and um, yeah, we've got lots of vegetables. And uh... oh, Kathleen, <laughs> you cannot what? start. Get your apron on. Oh, Mom would get so mad at oh, you. Shoot. <laughs> I hope she doesn't see don't this. Don't ruin your good clothes. <laughs> our mom. Our mom would always give us heck if we weren't cooking with an apron. Yes. So <laughs> you must wear an apron. All right. Okay, All right. well, um, so for our, we've got our vegetables and we need to actually start with rolling the meatballs. Oh, okay. Now, the recipe is for hamburger soup, but in our house, you never made hamburger soup 
without making meatballs. It was way more fun. And actually, I kind of think it was because our mom just wanted us to work. Where's our hamburger? Oh, it's in the fridge. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here it is. Yay. Okay. okay, so uh, Pam, you're gonna start with. Okay. Do you mind putting your hands in the bowl? No. Okay. So Pam's gonna start with mashing up the hamburger. Okay. My hands are clean. I just washed them. Okay. Now, in our home, Mom always used this like secret Dutch spice mixture. Mm. We never really knew what was in it, uh, so I had to research it because I couldn't find any, and we discovered that it was all spice. Ooh. And mom never measured anything. Now I am going to uh, be a little bit kinder to you. And if you have about a, a pound of hamburger, maybe throw in a half a teaspoon of allspice. And um, I always use fresh nutmeg. So I have this little nutmeg grinder here, uh, but any kind of nutmeg will do. And it seems weird, like the, using allspice and nutmeg to cook mm. meat, but that's a very Dutch thing to do. So we're going to throw in, well, whatever's in that bowl. Yeah, we're going to throw that in there. <laughs> okay, perfect. And then I'll grab some salt and pepper. And yeah, you're mixing it. Good. Yeah. Okay. Um, Pam, I just realized I forgot something. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Was it important? <laughs> yeah, it's important. <laughs> What is it? An egg. Oh. Okay, so you guys have an egg on your ingredients list. And you can put an egg in now. Put an egg in now. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Uh, because I forgot to bring one. <laughs> oh, well. That's okay. Okay. And uh, then we're going to throw in um, some salt. What does the recipe say anyway? Uh, I hardly ever use a recipe. Oh, two teaspoons. Okay. okay. One and two. Salt is really important. Okay. We've got the salt. We put in a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Now, if you were our mom, you would uh, grab a hunk of this raw hamburger <laughs> and you would taste it. <laughs> we don't do that. <laughs> she always used to tell us, taste the hamburger. And we're like, no way. So we're going to just hope we didn't want worms. It's seasoned. <laughs> worms. Okay. And then um, lots of people use breadcrumbs in their hamburger, but I'm celiac. And uh, so I don't use bread, obviously, but we have gluten-free oats here. So you can use quick cooking oats as well and mix that in. And if we had an egg, it would stick together better. Yes, it would. <laughs> but it's not, okay. it's it's not, not too doing bad. too bad. Yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, Pam is going to start um, rolling meatballs now. Okay. And this is why I think my mom was into, into just giving kids work, you know, because this takes a long time. I'll get too you Too small, uh, too big? Um, no, that's, that's good. Okay. Yeah. I'll give you this bowl. You can put the meatballs in here. Okay. okay. Um, I'm just going to go and get the rest of the vegetables ready. Okay. okay. You keep working yep. on this. Yep. Okay. <laughs> you haven't got very far. What? Well, it's taking you a while to roll those. This things. is a big job. <laughs> it yeah, takes a long time. It is, time. I know. Um, I have something to tell you. What? They actually make pre-rolled meatballs that are gluten-free at Ralph's. Are you serious? <laughs> oh boy. I'm out of here. I'm gonna go buy some. This is ridiculous. <laughs> All right. <laughs> See you later. All right. Here they are. This is great. Who knew? Oh, no. Isn't that great? amazing? And they're gluten free. Yeah, they're gluten free and they have the Dutch seasoning in them. Oh, that's crazy. Okay. Sorry, that was kind of mean of me, wasn't it? Yeah, that it? was a little mean. So we got to turn the burner on. Yeah. So we have water in the pot. Uh, we've got about two liters of water. So you can use um, packaged um, beef soup broth, you know, the, the pre made stuff. Or you can uh, make your own broth. We actually make our own broth quite often just with like all the leftover bits of vegetables and things like that. But that's for another day. Mm. Um, and we, uh, today we're actually going to use a uh, beef bouillon paste instead. So Pam's going to throw the meatballs in there and then she is going Do to... Do I have to wait till it boils? No. Okay. It'll be all right. And I'm just going to stick this spoon in here and I'm just going to give you a big, big, huge, gigantic scoop of this. And you can mix that in. Okay. Okay. So whichever um, broth choice you've made for yourself, you can add that to your meatballs right now. We're going to get them cooking. 
Hey, Pam, do you remember when we did the raw meatballs with mom and then we'd have to stir them and you'd get all that like disgusting foam? Oh, so <laughs> gross. Well, was that the fat or what I don't that? know. I, I think it, it's, it's cooked, so gross. I think it's actually cooked blood. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> Sorry, she yeah, gets no, grossed that's out. Gross. <laughs> okay, so while you stir that, I'm gonna talk about onions for a moment. We've got a couple of different kinds of onions here. We've pre-chopped them. Um, we like to use more than one kind of onion because of the different properties that they have. So I've got a bowl of leeks here. And in case you need to see a real leek, this is, a, this is the leek here. So what we just do is we just chop the the white and the light green parts. So you can kind of see it's light green. The bottom is yellow. Um, so we usually just use up to about there. That part goes into the freezer for future stock. Don't throw anything out. When you're Dutch, you know that, right? You don't throw anything out. <laughs> That's true. Do you right? have the bag? In uh, your um, freezer? Yeah. That you put all the scraps in? Yeah, so yeah, things that like too. that I would put in, in, the, yeah. in the bag and when it's full, I, I'll add some bones and make yeah. my own stock. Yeah, you can just dump it all in. Okay, so I Pam, um, while I finish cutting these leeks, yep. I'm gonna give you these cooking onions and you're gonna start cooking them in the, the, the frying pan. pan there, okay? Okay, and do you want what do you want me to use to fry them in? <laughs> what, what kind of... Uh, Fat? Fat, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> I would prefer butter, but actually cooking oil does a better job. I'm so, you're gonna use cooking oil? I'm yeah. so surprised. This is the lover of butter. She <laughs> will eat it by the spoonful. <laughs> Quit giving away my secrets. <laughs> yeah, she, I love butter. She's a true Julia Child <laughs> study student. <laughs> Whatever. Well, you know that, what they say, right? What do they say? The secret of life. Yeah. The secret of life is butter. Oh, really? <laughs> Julia Child said that. <laughs> Julia Child said yeah. that. Oh, okay. So Pam's gonna fry up those onions and then she's gonna add these leeks. Um, we've already got a couple of bowl, bowls of onions there, so I think that's probably good. That's good. Yeah, and then we'll add these leeks. So you can start chopping, get people chopping onions, um, give them to the person you like the least in your group, because you know, they'll start crying, right? So here's some, okay. All right, Pam, do you fry the onions? Pardon me? Do you fry the onions? Oh, I don't know. What, what does mom do? Um, well, I think sure. she- Do you normally fry them? Yeah, I always fry I them. Like maybe I just dump them in. Do you? Should we call her? Yeah, call I'm her and not, check, because sure I, I can't remember does. what she does. Okay, let's, <clears> get, let's her, get her on the phone here. We'll get her on some FaceTime, maybe. Okay. I hope she's, she's home. I don't know if she'll answer. Sometimes she has a hard time with that. <laughs> we'll see if she can manage the technology. <laughs> Here she comes. Maybe? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Mom. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> she's probably out gallivanting. Yeah. Okay, here. Sometimes if I message her, she'll come on. So let's just try that again. Okay, well, we'll check with mom. Okay, so we're gonna uh, do some celery now. Oh, here we go. She's calling us back. Oh, she's calling us back. Okay, there she is. Here we are. Are you there, mom? Her oh, video, I gotta video? turn you up. Does she have video on? <laughs> mom, turn your video on. <laughs> Can you hear us? There you are. Hey, mom. Hi. 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 There you are. Hey. We're doing good. good. We have a question for you. Do, yes. you. do you fry your onions and your celery before you put them in the soup? No. You don't? Huh? That's I'm so I disappointed. Thought. Here, come and see. What do you think? No, I thought I, I don't either, Mom. <laughs> I played a mean trick on Pam. I had her roll a whole bunch of hamburger balls. And then I told her they sold them already made at Ralph's. <laughs> anyway, say hi. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I'm very excited to be at my daughter's cooking class. <laughs> well, here's all of our stuff. See, you know, we can see Pam's handiwork here. She's made everything beautiful. Oh. Anyway, um, Pam's just getting those onions going, so I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye, Mom. Okay. Bye, Mom. Love you. Love you. Bye. How do you turn this thing off? <laughs> it's good. Bye, Mom. All right, so 
I have a bunch of celery already cut here. And I usually try to leave the pieces a little on the a little on the bigger side because the thing I don't like about soup and a lot of people don't like about soup is that everything dissolves and just becomes mush, right? And so if you leave the pieces a little bit bigger, you still get nice chunks uh, without having, and, and you still get that great flavor, but you don't have like all that mushy stuff, right? So uh, I'm gonna just cut a bit more. Hey Pam, do you use the leaves in your soup? Yeah, I do. Do you? Yeah, I always yeah. use the leaves. Yeah, I like them too. It's kind of like another herb, right? Yeah, yeah. It's good. Or if I have too many leaves and I don't want to put them in the soup, then I um, I usually put them in my freezer bag for oh, my yeah, for my yeah. broth. That's yeah. a good idea. Okay, okay. Can I take this? Yeah, sure. Oh, Do you okay. wanna? Can you? Can you? I'll take that. Okay. I'll come up. All right. <clears throat> We're doing well here. We're there. We go. Okay. okay. <clears throat> so let's see. Um, Another thing that I like to do is not put my herbs in too soon. I like them to kind of still be fresh and, and green, but still give off enough flavor. flavor. Um, sometimes people don't really care for soup because you, if, if you cook it too long, you lose all that vibrancy of color. You lose all the really nice flavor because it just kind of cooks and blends together. and You don't get a, a good quality product. So you kind of have to plan your vegetables based on how hard they are and how much you want them to cook. So things like your carrots and your potatoes are gonna go into the pot sooner. And, um, and then things like your uh, peas and corn, if you choose to put those in, uh, you put them in a little bit later. Something about tomatoes, and I don't know if this is true, have you ever heard this before, that tomatoes will stop things like potatoes from softening when you oh, cook really? them? I don't know. I've heard that. Have you heard that before? Huh. That's what I've heard. So I usually leave my stewed tomatoes to the end. Oh, that's yeah. interesting. Okay, mm. I think we need to take a picture of this. Look how Ooh. beautiful oh, this is looking. Oh, that's gorgeous. Yeah, so let me just take we a picture. We always take photos of our food. Yeah, it looks good. Ooh. It's nice and bright wow. green. So I love beautiful. my celery when it's bright yeah. green. Okay, how are the hamburger balls? Doing. doing good. Oh, they look great. Okay, okay. and I think Which it's a time for a little... selfie too. Oh, a selfie. Yeah, you know. okay. We need okay. that. Which way? This way. Which way? This way? Ready? Okay. Yeah. Tuck your chin in. Oh, yeah. Here, actually, no. <laughs> Pull your neck. <laughs> Pull your neck. Okay. Okay. I can't do it. <laughs> okay. There we go. Perfect. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so should we throw these potatoes in? Yep. We have chopped our potatoes and we leave the skins on, but you can peel them if you prefer. It's just whatever your family likes. Okay. And I'll finish cutting these carrots, okay? okay? So we're getting the hard vegetables in first because they take a little longer to cut. Or it, not to cut, to cook. Cook. I noticed you left the potatoes a little bit larger too, so that's yeah, good. Yeah, right? I don't like it when my soup dissolves. Yeah. You know, when all yeah. the things dissolve. Yeah. And, and do you think this is ready to come out of here? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, you could probably dump, dump in. that in there too. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so we've got some carrots. Uh, things like peas and carrots are very sweet. So you need to think about whether you like uh, a sweeter soup or a more savory soup. Um, believe it or not, it does make a big difference. Uh, corn, of course, is also slightly sweet. So you have to really kind of think about how much balance you want of, of sweetness in, in your soup. Okay, uh, where are we at now? Let's see, um, I can't read this. <laughs> Can you read this? See, what is, is mom? What is she saying here? <laughs> what does that say? I don't know. <laughs> I actually really don't know. Uh, <laughs> oh, I know oh, what that is. Oh, dried soup veggies. Yeah. This is the secret ingredient. Yes. So <laughs> my mom swears by this. It's dried soup vegetables from the Dutch tradition. <laughs> um, let me tell you what's in it. Look at this. Leek, carrot, onion, celery. <laughs> <laughs> Everything you mom, put in. <laughs> yeah, everything we already put in. But I must know. have this. We must have it because yes. mom says, mom yes. says, put it in. Okay. So put it in. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, let's see. We are now uh, at the stage of putting our carrots in. So I'll give you these carrots as well. Okay. I feel like we might little... need a little more water. What oh, yeah. Think? Okay, let me have or a little broth. Mm, no? You like no, it like I, that? I think it's okay. okay we'll good. leave it for a bit. All right. Uh, the tomatoes are quite moist too, oh, so they're gonna true. add some, yeah, liquid. All okay. right, so our herbs. Now, 
the for the hamburger soup, my favorite herbs are um, parsley oh. and thyme. What this do you is, like? This is a different looking parsley, hey? Yeah, this is the Italian parsley. Oh, this is the Italian. Yeah, one. not the yeah. curly one. Um, yeah, I would do parsley. What's that? Thyme. Thyme. Yeah. yeah, that's good too. And I have these beautiful basil plants, but oh, we're not gonna put them in. We're not putting them in. They no. do not. They go just in. look nice. They're not for Dutch soup. No, Dutch, <laughs> Dutch soup doesn't. <laughs> no. Although I do use it in my chicken noodle soup. Yeah, I can see yeah. that. Yeah. Okay, so do you want to cut this? Yeah. Okay. Pam's going to cut that. And I am going to... And can I do the this stock and everything? Yeah, I use... I, what I usually do is cut it small and then just cut it to about here. And then okay. this goes in my broth bag. Oh. And that goes in the soup. Because okay. it really... what It's not any different than celery, right? No, that's true, I guess. Yeah. Okay, and then the, uh, the time here... We're gonna strip off the leaves, and I usually put in um, some of the t more tender stems. Okay. And then these stems that are harder, I uh, I always put into my bag of broth um, ingredients, like, like the stuff that I'm gonna freeze. Oh, really? Even that? Oh yeah, oh, that's the stems. Amazing. Yeah, these okay. make great broth. Huh. Yeah, throw them in there. Wow. So, oh man, smell this. Mm. Oh yeah, that is nice. Mm. Yum. That's I wish good. I had grown this in my garden, but. My time is... Uh, okay, so you want this for your little bag? Yeah, I'll put that in my broth bag uh, without the tie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no ties. Take the tie off. Yeah. Where did I put that bag? Oh, well. I'll just leave it for now. Okay, so we've got the time. You can throw that parsley is in whenever. Is this small enough? Yeah, it depends on how you like it. Like, okay. if you want it to show up, um, you know, to, like to stay in pieces. Yeah. It's kind of nice. Now, we're not going to overcook this soup. This is the secret. Mm. We're gonna cook it just enough, but not too much. <laughs> and don't ask me how much that is because because <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we just do it till it tastes right. Yeah. Okay. So we've got a bunch of thyme here. Mmm, <clears throat> that smells good. You can add any herbs that you like. Um, it doesn't have to be Dutch. It can be anything, right? Rosemary I, would be good with this. I'm really curious about these Dutch meatballs. Yeah, I'm gonna see how Do you how think they're they gonna taste as I, good as I the original? Know. We'll see. I don't know. <laughs> I'm too lazy to make them yeah. from scratch. True, have you used them before? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Okay, do you wanna throw that in there? Yeah. Sometimes if I'm not, uh, if I don't have time, I'll just throw the whole stock in and then fish them out later. Oh, okay. Or you can tie them together. Or too. Do you know what I have that I got at an old Mennonite store in Saskatchewan? It's a giant tea ball. Oh, yeah. And I should have brought that for yeah. this. It's a giant tea ball and it's for herbs. You put the herbs in this thing and you stick it in oh, the soup. Oh, like a, okay. Yeah, like just so like you'd cool. make tea, yep. you know? Okay, that's probably enough. Let's just... Get all these little oh, leaves. Oh, so beautiful. Yeah, is it really I'm taking green? another picture. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, that's really nice. That's awesome. So I great. wish you could see in this pot. It's really colorful. Beautiful. Okay, mm -hmm. so how are the carrots and potatoes doing? Oh, they're coming along. They're still hard, I think. But Oh, yeah. Do you know what? We haven't put any um, salt or pepper in yet. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, um, we're going to put an initial tablespoon of salt in. And then we're gonna taste it before, like once it's cooked, we're okay. gonna taste it and see whether it needs more. So you can take okay. that. All right. And um, maybe turn it, oh, it is up pretty high. Okay, yep. let's put the lid on. Okay. And we're gonna, we're gonna throw the, car the peas and the corn and the tomatoes in a little later. Okay. Um, okay, so this can all go aside. Now, while that's cooking, why don't we work on those biscuits? Oh, okay, perfect. Okay. So if you if you look at your recipe here, it's kind of funny. There's um, this the hamburger soup recipe is at the bottom, and then there's two biscuit recipes. We were gonna make this one, but Pam, who has cream of tartar in I, our house? That is a weird ingredient. I know. I don't know. I don't know. Just Mom sent us one. this one, but. We don't, I don't know. I don't have any cream of tartar. So okay. let's make this one instead. Okay. Okay. There's a and lot of added things <laughs> on there. I know. I'm not quite sure. Um, did you ever remember putting sugar in it? No. I feel like that's more of a sweet biscuit. Oh, maybe mommy want more savory, I wonder if right? she did that when she was doing like jam. Oh, yeah. Like Saturday morning. Yeah. Saturday morning breakfast. Yes. Yeah. 
Biscuits with jam. And whoever then, whoever was around, you know, yeah. maybe people would just stop in for coffee. And mom always had the baking powder biscuits yeah, there with like five or six different kinds of homemade jam. Yeah. And people would just stop by and have coffee and, and biscuits. And of course there was butter. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there was butter. Yes. <laughs> in fact, um, I don't know about you, what do you use when you make your biscuits? Like, do you, do you use vegetable shortening or lard or? I think I do both. Like, it yeah. depends on what I have, right. but yeah I, yeah, I do do both, so. I actually have used um, the butter or the, the drippings from bacon. Oh, really? Like I save them oh. and I have actually used that too. It kind of gives a different kind of biscuit. You're so but thrifty. I know, I Honestly, like to save everything. Honestly, you have some good secrets. Yeah. Okay, so okay. here. So um, I have another confession to make. I didn't bring any shortening. Oh, <laughs> so we're using we're butter. We're using butter? Okay, <laughs> yes, we that's are. fine. <laughs> okay, this is our usual life. <laughs> <laughs> improvise, improvise. <laughs> yes. Okay, so uh, where are we at? Where are we at? Um, hmm. Oh yeah, <laughs> here we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Okay, so uh, so Pam has already mixed this together. Yeah. So we're actually making gluten-free baking powder biscuits, so they'll look slightly different. Yeah, yeah they might look quite a bit different. <laughs> gluten-free we'll never turns out quite right. Yeah. But that's okay, you can use normal flour. So we've, uh, we've got the flour, the baking powder, the salt. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so let's see, what one and three quarter cup of flour, four teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, and then we, of course, <laughs> we went on the heavy side of the butter. Of course. It says uh, three to five tablespoons. We've got five generous tablespoons of butter in here. So Cut here up. Is. Cold butter. The secret, yes. The, the secret, secret is yes, cold. very cold butter. And then we are going to mix uh, three quarters of a cup of milk in with that. Okay. And you just basically have to get in there with your hands. Yeah. Unless it's, you have a pastry, um, um, what's that thing called? Cutter? Pastry cutter, yeah. 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 So I'll right. use my hands. Oh, we make a lot of mess. Look at those dishes. <laughs> Grant will do them. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> All right, so as she's doing that, I'll get the milk. This is very therapeutic, good for anxiety and stress. <laughs> you just play with the butter, breaking it up till it's like little pea size. Yeah, bits. just like squash. You don't want to. Yes. You don't want to smear it. No, you have to like break it up, break and it, it up. needs to get coated with the flour, mm -hmm. so that when the when the butter melts in the oven, you get that flakiness. Yes. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, did you use? Is this what you used to measure? Yes, I did. Okay. Three quarters of a cup? I just used no, the two one thirds. Cup. I used the one cup and adjusted it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. We don't really measure. <laughs> it's kind of a joke. <laughs> Tell me when you're ready. I think I'm ready. Okay. 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 <gasps> Oops. <laughs> that was not planned. <laughs> okay. Uh, ready? Okay. Yes. I and you know what? As you're doing this with your family someone might spill and that's okay it's okay we can deal with it yeah no one ever cr cried over spilled milk <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one uh, okay there we go okay. mostly cleaned up did you give me only three quarters or did you yeah give i give you three quarters i think it is, was three quarters <laughs> i don't know <laughs> some of it might have let me let me look what? at the recipe Oh no, <laughs> it's two thirds. <laughs> oh well. Uh, oh well. Okay. It'll be okay. <laughs> It'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now I'll get the baking sheet ready. Okay. And okay. so we don't want to over mix this. No, absolutely. Because our mom used to whack us with the spoon if we <laughs> over mixed it. <laughs> yes, she would. Or if you sampled. Yes. Anything but the hamburger. You could. <laughs> you could sample the hamburger. Yeah. But n nothing else. <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, our mom's really getting a, a bit of a we reputation. Love our mom. We, we love do our love mom. our mom. And she taught us how to cook. Yes, she did. And if anything else, she taught us how to be hospitable. hospitable. Yeah. Yes. 100%. Our house was a bit of a revolving door, hey? Yeah. People coming through. 
Okay. In fact, she's still to this day known for picking up random tree planters or hitchhikers, <laughs> seeking them home for dinner. Stray people <laughs> she finds in town. Yeah, we yes. worry about her. <laughs> Actually, this looks good. It does that look good. Three quarters of oh, a we cup need. Of okay, milk wait a minute. I need to change the you recipe. Need to change that recipe. Yeah, I think I need to. This uh, looks much better. It must be. The I think I need. A, just let me get a pen. We need to mark that down. Where did our rolling pin go? There it is. Okay. Okay, so that three quarters seemed better, hey? Yeah, it did. I'm gonna write that down. Especially for gluten-free. Yeah, oh, I'll write that down too. Gluten-free, more milk. Okay, more milk, good. All right, Okay. perfect. So. Okay, now uh, the recipe says that you can grease the cookie sheet if you want crispier bottoms on your biscuits. Uh, we always use parchment because of my, um, intolerance of gluten just to make sure that we don't have any cross contamination so we'll see what happens okay we don't have a cookie cutter oh so uh, here use this this is what our mom actually always used yeah. was a cup so that's what we're gonna use yeah now you can roll your dough thicker than this yes gluten-free eh, doesn't work super well so we roll it really thin you get more of almost a thick <laughs> cracker <laughs> What is the but it's what okay. is the thickness for normal? Um, like, uh, what is an the inch thickness? And something? Three quarters of an inch thick. Okay. So quite a bit thicker than this. But okay. Just you know, some if you're this, doing some glutes, of these are three quarter and some are not. <laughs> yeah, you rolled them a little crooked. Yeah. <laughs> oh well, it's that's okay. normal for me. It's okay. It's okay. That's what families are about, right? Yep. Like, I mean, everybody has different skills. Everybody has different abilities. Um, the important thing is that we do it together. Yeah. And so it doesn't have to come out perfect. Um, it just has to be fun. When, yeah. when we get together, sometimes we have, um, you know, sometimes we create new recipes because we made mistakes. We made mistakes and or we forgot That's something. okay. Yeah, like eggs. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and the other thing is you need to preheat your oven to, oh, I yeah. think it's 450 okay. or something, right? Uh, it's a really hot oven anyway. Yes, 450 and it is important that it's hot because you want them to cook quickly. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Yep, I'll do so, that. Okay, let me see here. How does this oven work? <laughs> Bake, Bake and then up arrow. Oh yeah, there we go. 450. Do I have to push start? Yes. Uh, start. Okay. Like this start? <laughs> that one? Yeah. Are yeah. you sure? I think so. Okay, well, we're not at home, so it's a little more tricky. We don't know how to use the... We're at the church. Oh, see, that actually is better. That's a bit thicker. Ooh, this is looking great. Okay. I think you might be right about the, about the water, though. I think I'm going to put a little more water in there. Okay. That looks good. That's a little thicker, hey? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. All right, let's see. So the magic of TV, are we putting these in? Yeah. And we have a finished product. I'll let you do the honors. Okay. When you get to the end, sometimes you just have to make a little blob. <laughs> yeah. You don't have enough anymore to make a, a proper thing. So. And that's okay. It's just a little, that's yeah. Right. Like, Everyone wants to eat that one. This little guy when right he, here. When he's the only one left. Yeah. So we'll just put another yeah. one there. Okay. You can, that's, you can fit them anywhere. Yeah. It works. Okay. okay. So, oh, here they are. <laughs> they are a little flat. <laughs> the magic of television. Ooh, I won't touch that. I'll burn myself. <laughs> they're, they're a little darker now, but they're oh, more yeah. cracker-like. So. so here at, in, our, in our time lapse, um, here are our finished biscuits. I bet they're good. Should we try the bottoms we? actually look pretty oh, good. Yeah. They're a little more brown. Mm, nice and brown. That's that'll be nice and crispy. And everybody wants this piece. So <laughs> you can I'm gonna it. have it. <laughs> <laughs> everybody wants it, but you're gonna have it. How can you tell she's the little sister? Yes, I am. She's like so <laughs> oh, it's for me. <laughs> Spoiled. A little crunchy. Maybe they were in there for a little too long. Oh well. They'll, they'll be good. good. They'll mm -hmm. be really good for dipping mm -hmm. in the soup. They're perfect. Okay. Let's okay. get the rest of the vegetables in the soup now. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna put some peas in here. Oh yeah, I said we were gonna get some more water too, right? Mm-hmm. I'll fill a bowl. Okay. Or here, this so side. you can look at your soup and just see how brothy it is, and you can just add more. Um, you can add some more bouillon. Um, 
Some people like more broth in their soup, some people like it thicker. Uh, so you just need to decide what your family likes. Okay, I'm gonna throw this corn in here now. And did you mention that you might have to adjust the seasonings if, we, if you add more water? Yeah, yeah. So if you're adding more water, of course, you, you're gonna need more salt, more pepper, more bouillon. Uh, you might need more herbs, but you can taste at the last, you know, towards the end of your cooking process, and then you can add those, uh, those ingredients just to tweak it. This is beautiful. I love it. Yeah, does it look orange? good? Oh, no, that looks good. All right, are you ready for this tomato here? Yep. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Sometimes we use fresh tomatoes. Uh, sometimes we'll chop up tomatoes that, you know, maybe um, didn't get used and we'll put them in the freezer and then use them in the soup. The thing about that is that you still want really good quality ingredients because if you kind of put things that are, you know, like on their way out, uh, the soup doesn't taste that good, right? So you still want fresh ingredients. So um, sometimes the best choice is something canned or frozen like yeah. peas. Here, let's rinse this out. Okay. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Now, do you want to taste it? Yep. Okay. I will find myself. What do you want to do? Here, I get it. I'll get a spoon. And then we can decide if we need to add more seasoning or something like that. All right. Wow, we made a mess. <laughs> That's uh, pretty normal for us. <laughs> okay. All right. So I want to. Do you think these meatballs are ready to taste? Oh yeah, they're yeah okay, they're pretty yeah, yeah Let's see they're how -cooked. the Ralph Stutch meatballs are. Don't burn yourself. Hmm. Not They're bad, good, actually. I'm gonna get a spoon too. Oh, they, they actually taste just like mom's. Do they? They're not bad. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Where did you find that spoon? Oh, down below. Yeah, I'll use this. Okay. I think it might need a little more seasoning though. Okay. Yeah. All right, what are we gonna throw in? Uh, salt for sure. Where's our salt? Oh yeah. Salt, pepper. Salt. Yeah, mm-hmm. Pepper. Um, Okay, I'm not gonna dump from the container because remember oh, what happened last time yeah. I did that? Yeah, no, no, <laughs> don't do that. Half the salt went in the pot. <laughs> yeah. Okay, a tablespoon. Pepper? No, no, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, like about a teaspoon of pepper. Okay, okay. and uh, let's see, maybe a little more of the I'll get a bit more of this uh, thyme. Yeah, the potatoes are cooked, I think, though. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. It's looking right. good. Yeah. All right. So, should we serve ourselves a bowl? <laughs> I think we should. <laughs> All right. Well, when your meal is done, sit down together and enjoy a bowl of soup with someone you love. With someone you love, if you can do that. Maybe after COVID is over. <laughs> yeah. If there's uh, anything that COVID has taught us, it's how much we value family and friends and gathering to eat together. So as soon as those restrictions are lifted, we hope you'll make some soup and invite some people over. Enjoy your soup. Say bye, Pam. Bye. <laughs>